By the end of this video, my bag is going to be completely filled with MVP Streamline or Axiom discs. And over the next four weeks, I'll only be bagging a variation of those MVP discs. If you saw the video where I took you through my entire disc collection, every disc that I carry in this van, you saw a very limited quantity of MVP. Now I do have a couple already in here, the Tesla and the Matrix, which are two of my favorite MVP discs. And for now, they will be in this bag. Now let's break things down a little bit further. My bag usually consists of a mix of Firebird, Eagle, Scorpius, DD1, Buzz, Buzz SS, uh, you know, Zone, some of the true American classics. And over the next four weeks, I'm gonna be testing and comparing different categories of MVP disc with the main goal being bag and honestly fall in love with one MVP mold. Now I really like the Tesla and I really like the Matrix, but if I'm being honest, they overlap quite a bit with some of my favorite molds that I already bag. I've thrown things like the Proxy for a decent amount of time and I really like that disc and it'll probably be in the bag for this, this month long challenge as well. I wanna find something new. MVP has clearly taken over the disc golf world. And even though there's really no reason I need to do this, there's no reason I need to bag an MVP disc. I wanna mix things up and I wanna have some fun. A all MVP bag for the next month is going to be interesting. We're going to be playing full rounds. We're going to be doing some field work. We're going to maybe just take one disc out and really, really test it. Really, really try and figure it out. Now, the next question is for you guys. I had the idea of doing an elimination challenge where over the next four weeks, I'm testing these MVP discs. But every week or every round or, or something, I get to replace my least favorite MVP category with my original discs or original mold. So say, you know, I'm really not liking the Tesla anymore and I want to just replace it again with my super beat up Firebird that I honestly think overlaps almost identical to this disc. Or do I just go four straight weeks really building, developing an MVP bag and then at the end of it, we kind of figure out what mold really did we feel like I relied on the most, maybe, maybe change the game, was that go-to disc and then that's the way we kind of figure out which one makes the bag. I'm gonna be trying to upload these videos next day. So it's gonna be within real time where you guys see the video and then I get direct feedback and then continue the challenge throughout the four week span with all of your guys' input. And now you may be asking Broad, where the hell are you gonna get a full MVP bag? And that brings us to our next thing, my buddy Clint. We're gonna be heading to his house here and he's gonna hook it up with a full MVP bag. He said he has maybe like 10 of like a ton of popular molds. Like I literally mean I get to go MVP shopping uh, for free. There's three keys to disc golf. Driving, approaching, and putting. We need all three to do this disc sport. The first thing is I know you love a throwing putter and I know you kind of like them a little deeper too. Feel this one at least. I know you're gonna like this one probably. This is a soft proxy. And I think you've thrown the proxy you know, before, right? I'm a little familiar with this. So yeah, let's do it. That's in the bag. Have you ever heard of this disc? Uh, I think some guy named yeah. James Conrad maybe throws those. Yeah. So that's like the James Conrad, like Halloween okay. nomad, but it's a Kinda deep beat dish. It, huh? Yeah. I don't know if you'll like it or not. So if you don't, it's no big deal. We'll try it. We'll try it. Stabilizer? Yeah. Are Need you like a beefy? Need something beef beefy. dog? Oh, putting putters. We know I'm cracked on the greens now, so yeah. they're going to be important. So I have. A bunch in, of in last year, if we did this, it wouldn't have mattered too much. <laughs> I've got this is the matching pair. Envy. Right, if you know me, it's really no question. We got matching buttons. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to show me the yeah. I know you're not a super overstable guy, so we're gonna skip the deflector. Yeah, no deflector. <laughs> I've actually thrown the, de the deflector. You have a matrix, right? Past. I got two matrix. We need proton pyros, right? Yeah, pyro. It's got to be a prism. Do you want a beat in one or a not beat in one? And do you like? I actually have a couple different ones. Let's do, feel these three and tell me which one you like the best. Prism, Oof. Prism, and I think that's Prism Proton. What's the difference between like these two? So this Are is gonna, be, gonna this be, this is gonna be, they should be close to spillity. This one's gonna be stiffer and like that clear C plastic. And this one's gonna be a little bit more malleable with a little bit more flex in it. So I don't know what you'd like to, on mm. your forehand. I mean, these are both beauties. One thing about me is I have horrible OCD and MVP discs kind of drive me nuts, but the fact that these are pink on pink. I know, I thought you might, like, really I like, thought you I might like this, this one, one. <laughs> based on looks. I think we're going to go with this one. What is it? Prism Plasma. Let's go with that one. Mid ranges. We have Pyro Matrix. Next ability, you like, do you like like four mid ranges, three mid ranges? 
it depends because I obviously I know where this is heading. The hex. I'm a Buzz SS beat up Buzz guy. We yeah, all know that. That's the hex. Could be. You don't have any echoes, do you? I don't have any echoes. No echoes. I, I have, have a detour. To, might have to get my hands on an echo. You want to try it? Detour could maybe work as I well. I just got but this one. I them. just got this one. I use like a. My local store had like a used thing. It's a like DFX limited release, mm. but I got it for like eight bucks. Hmm. It kind of depends on the stability of hex, I guess. Yeah, so yeah. Maybe we go. So I have a couple that you can like, touch. Yeah, let me just. I, oh, feel I got them a up. bunch, man. I got. I like to keep it simple, if if possible. I like to keep it where I'd have like the, just a hex and I'd have like two or three different stability. I mean, oh, he's got hexes. <laughs> so I'll let you touch these. Okay. So most stable, the glow ones are most stable. And these two I've personally tested. And you know I, I kind of like, cause I'm getting versions. like a little pink, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. pink, white, black, like so far, okay. this is what's in the bag, which is kind of cool. So I got my, my girlfriend actually died this one. Okay. This is the space race one. I also have this eclipse reactor. I don't know if you've ever thrown one. I've thrown the reactor. But you could test them both in the me? field. Yeah, maybe let's do it's that. It's up to you. The reactor is like what the, if this should be the matrix, I feel like. This is a proton. They're super hard to find. Reactor or what? <laughs> yeah. They're what super hard down. to find. Prism, proton. I think it only got released once. Okay. And I was like, I got to try it because I, I like to have like a bunch of different stabilities of a hex. Mm. And it was pretty flippy off the okay. rip. So Would this one be significantly more stable, you think? They, that one's probably a bit, more, a bit more stable, but you can test them both. Yeah, let's and try. Just, I'm going to grab these with this detour. Let's I like the color scheme, dude. I know. It's kind of like a reddish, pinkish, like... I do love a good, MV, this is like my favorite MVP rim, is when they do this like, kind of cloudy, like cloudy blue, like teal, whatever. I forgot about the watt too. Oh, the watt, that's another, so here's the deal though. I've thrown the watt in the past and I feel like for me, anything I could do with a watt, I can do better with a proxy. I'm kind of not, but I kind of think like that's, and I don't know if you'll like, like that nomad my, either, but. I feel like it's kind of your style. Yeah. Which Let's is, see. Um, <laughs> you're like, color scheme only matters sometimes. <laughs> All right. And then for fairway drivers, we have the Tesla. And that's so a, that's that's. Yeah. I are I know this disc. This is my disc. This should be a pretty good replacement for my super beat up Firebird. Probably like my PD. It'll throw backhand, forehand. Yep. I already know this will probably be like my workhorse control driver mm -hmm. for the month. Do you like Proton? Do you like Neutron? I, have, I don't even know the difference. They all kind of match your color scheme? I don't know what they mean. <laughs> but you, you can know, feel them if you want. Weirdly enough, normally I wouldn't be like a this plastic type of guy, but I'm also not like a, any MVP plastic type of guy. I think I think I like this. I'll tell you, that was what I would pick for you because you don't like the crazy this overstable. Is and that is a yeah, little, little okay. straighter. And it oh, will cool. it should beat in a little bit right too. In there. Good job. <laughs> All right, let's go. Do you want a resistor? You know, Eagles chucking them, I and I have some. Yeah, I have let's, some let's stick with. You want to beat up one? Yeah, because I know you're kind of like not the. This is the I'm kind of a noodle arm. I like resistance. stuff that's. I like stuff that's stable but then beat in, and so oh. the resistor is a disc. I've thrown one in the past, but I heard it was one of those broken ones that was like, I can't remember. I think it was like really flippy. Yeah, but it was a resistor, and it was yeah. kind of like for. You know, looking back, I probably would have liked that a lot. Those are beefy. It's like, yeah, but this should be this should be money. I highly recommend the Volt. I don't know if you've ever thrown one before. I haven't. They are nasty. It's an eight speed, right? Yeah, and I, I'm not a. I hate them on forehand. Do you have a domey one? Uh, yes. I, I'm the same. I have felt them before, and I think it's not a forehand is for I me. So if you got like a nice kind of glidey, like little, yeah, that's that like in between yeah. neutron proton dome. That's yeah. That feels good. Let's go with that. And then I have this Skullboy one that is much straighter hmm. and well, flies good. I think I you might like this for that little flicks that drift left too. But what about the Crave? Yeah, we're going to put Crave in there. Don't <laughs> worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Guys, I'm not completely, you know, <laughs> if you, if you follow, I've messed around okay. with some MVP. You have a Tesla. Never to this extent. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We have Volts, Wrath. Oh, we Ooh, need to get you an approach Let me feel disc. a Wrath because... That is a disc I felt like one time in the past and thought it was like quite possibly this I've never thrown. It reminds me could give me give the Tesla a run for its money. It's pretty close. I think they're very close. We gotta in try discs. it. We gotta try it. So I have one of these actually. I forgot that. Do you so, want to at least field trust this let's field against test the other one? This one? I might be able to just stick with my other one. It's got my face dyed on it. Crave for me, the only one I've really ever thrown was one of those Sarah Hokum like black Halloween. Those ones. are very flippy. Very flippy, but I was still getting it to Heiser. 
because I just okay. throw everything. I throw everything kind of like a hyzer flip release. Okay. I'd ideally not throw a black disc, so I don't know if you have any of those, but I'm gonna. That's cool. That's this is cool. a this is a pretty board flat one, and it has has some good stability. It's still flippy though. We, we can field test it. It's it's a little For bit sure. flippier than a crave. It's a nine a speed. Nine speed. Let's, let's check it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now we're at the hard part. MVP does not have the best distance drivers on the market, in my opinion. They might be the first to go. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What we. we I got? have a bunch here. <sighs> There's so many choices. So I think you'll like the Defy. And I have the Defy 11 speed, right? Is this, yeah. this is a Defy? That is a, a fairly hard to get one. It's a, a Proton one, which flies okay. quite a bit different, I think. But I do also have a Neutron one that you can try. <sighs> 11, 5, negative 1, 3, I think. Destroyer okay. minus 1 speed. Yeah. So. And it flies kind of like that. It's, a, it's like a beef dog. Time lapse. We all... I don't Listen, even need to say it. Not my favorite. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you, dude. And I have some patent pending stuff here. I don't know if you actually want to mess around with yeah, that. Yeah, see, I don't really <clears throat> care to like, I don't need to find I don't like stuff messing around with that. This one looks like it would go really far. I think I've thrown those and I didn't like any of them. Is but it a I think far? you'll like this one. Is this a fission? Yeah. Funny enough, I'm a disc golf YouTuber and I've never thrown a fission time lapse. I think you'll crank that. <laughs> Let's go with, yeah, I think that might be, and it's a 163, so it's not like super lightweight. Oh, it goes far. So that it goes real be an far. absolute bomb. And then if you want, I mean, we already gave you a time, a regular time lapse, right? Uh, Did you grab that? Yeah, but to be honest, I don't know you if it's even going to happen. Like this is a delirium. patent pending delirium. But like, is you this, have to test these. Is this like a hog? Here, let's just take, I'm gonna take the panic. We can test those out. I do have like a. Is this like the, this is like what the pros are throwing, right? I the think so. Vision, the neutron patent pending dimensions. When I threw it, it wasn't, it wasn't amazing, but we can mm. test it. It feels good. To it's flip a up. limit, what's that one? Beefy? I think like it's supposed it. to be super beefy, but that's a patent pending domey one. Mm -hmm. So like they're totally different stabilities than the limit is supposed to be. Interesting. And then the energy, which yeah. I've thrown as well. And I, that is an absolute hog. When you get to like these, these patent pending, like they're all gonna little like, nipple yeah. domey guys, they just like are weird all over the place. Like right. that octane probably flies nothing like an octane. Right. By the way, the octane's a pretty good disc if you kind of beat one up. Hmm. They do. It, that's like one of the better looking feeling to me, like bomber MVP yeah. distance drivers I've seen. I mean, give it a go. But we'll Put it see. in the pile. Let's, we gotta. We're obviously about to head to the field, just out back. <laughs> the I think the distance drivers are really going to be what we're going to have to kind of dial in. Everything else, I think, will be pretty. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, money. Not I much, like but, like time. If you if you if you're okay with like a time lapse or a panic or something, then the defy. Then like the fission time lapse, yeah. and then the wave, yeah. maybe or s swap those maybe. We'll figure. out. I'm gonna try and forget about speed on the MVP distance drivers and basically just say, what do they do? I don't care if it's 11. I don't care if it's 14 and a half. Let's yeah. just see how they fly. And I do have a few more options if we can't figure out something that works. Yeah. I have like a catalyst, which okay. is pretty flippy. I have some tantrums. Okay. Which actually, I should grab a tantrum for you, because I think that might be like I have some mayhem's, like a I have I have an excite somewhere in here. 14 and a half, five and a half, negative two, two. Yeah. That could be cool. Give it a toss. That might be a really good like sidearm flip up guy. Yeah, I think we're good. First things first, let's see if the putters work. Nope. First things first, the putters. We got a stack of five here. We got the Atom, the Stabilizer, the Proxy, the Tempo, and then, what is this again? Nomad. Nomad. Yeah, that's that's a that's a proxy. Yeah, you can't ask for much more than that. It's a good disc, man. See, that's the thing. I'm a player who likes to kind of work different angles on the same disc. So the proxy, I feel like I could pretty much do anything I want with that disc. So these other putters might have like no point other than just like the stabilizer, obviously. Mm -hmm. Let's the try soft the soft ones are kind of stable too. Yeah. I feel like a proxy. Maybe like a touch more <laughs> stable proxy. That yeah. might be a good tweener between proxy Gentle and stabilizer. Fade, right? Let's throw the stabilizer. Yeah, okay. I'm actually, the Nomad. I've been throwing a PA3 and a Wizard a lot lately and the Nomad almost. 
Yeah. I'd say it kind of fits that slot. Mm -hmm. It's beaded a little bit deeper than like the proxy. I'm excited for you to throw the pyro. We got Let's the go. pyro, <laughs> which I've never thrown a pyro. Everyone tells me I need to because I love the ultra. And I'm like, yeah, but I have the ultra, so why would I throw a pyro? But for this month, we'll let it be. <laughs> Matrix, get the warm up in here. See, to me, the Matrix and the Tempo are actually similar. They feel identical almost. And the Tempo, the reason I used to, I tried it when they first came out, but they almost go as far as the mid. So I was like, well, I would rather throw the Matrix. I think it's, mm -hmm. I feel like it's a little, little, I don't know, better for me, I guess. Solid. So good. Yeah. All right, Pyro. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, it flipped up. Yep. Huh. Yeah. That'll that'll do. That'll I, do. I feel like it's a little six speed. It's pretty fast, it feels yeah. like. That's, it can go. It's kind of like the Ultra, too. You said it yesterday. Like, the Ultra is like, it's not a six speed, I feel like, but I know what you mean where it goes really far, especially yeah. a beat up Ultra. You can just feel like I a hear good finder. things about beat up Pyros a lot. Like, people lose their mind over beat up Pyros. We got the Hexes. In the detour, least stable least detour. Sure, in yeah. this one, than this one. Yeah, Let's I go think that. so. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, I think it'll it'll lose a touch too. Yeah, in the first couple days. Oh, she's trying. That's very workable. Yeah, a little more stable than I expected, honestly. Oh, that's, see, that's the hex to me yeah. right there, that flight. Yeah. Control fairways. Once again with MVP, I kind of feel like I lump like seven, maybe even like six and a half through 10 is kind of just like, that's fairway drivers to me. Mm -hmm. And then 11 to 14 and a half distance driver. We're gonna go fireball. Yeah. Yeah. That'll work. Tesla and wrath oh yeah damn that's god good. <laughs> that is a good disc <laughs> yeah. wow i feel like i didn't throw that great but that flipped a lot yeah I let's go uh resistor oh yeah yeah i think you might like that guy that's like that's like my go-to forehand eagle Yep. but a little more bite yeah pushes it's, but a little more bite it's very like put it where you want it it's not going to yeah. go anywhere you don't make it go yeah i think I'm excited gonna, i actually think one. you're going to like that on the back end it's pretty stable that was kind of stable yeah it's 169 grams too so yeah proton ones are that's kind of like the only disc right now that has dome to it in terms mm -hmm. of like fairway category all right crave Yep. Yeah. And I got you a nice flat top one so you can pop it up. Oh yeah. On a forehand if you want. That, that'll get that that'll get some forehand work for sure. Inertia, never thrown one of these. Mm. Nine five negative two two. But I do love that, you know, it's not the same flight numbers, but I feel like it's something like a sidewinder, stable road runner, Sphinx. Sphinx, like something like that. I think you're gonna dig it. I think it's underrated. <sighs> You know, that might just end up being my distance driver. <laughs> <laughs> they, go, they go super far, Like, bro. that's probably, what, 440? It's pretty far. Because it's 470 to that... that yeah, uh, 485 to that big pile. Yeah. I'm going to start with some of them that I think will be maybe a little more on the backhand side of things. We're going to go wave right away. Wraithish? Yeah, very, like, beat-up Wraithish, for yep. sure. I yeah. think that if I hit that line, that disc on the inertia line, mm -hmm. I'd have put it like past that bush yep. pile. Time and line, fission time lapse. I'm excited for this one. This one feels good. 163 grams. This has some potential to go. Oof. Oh, it goes. It goes. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a nice throw, buddy. 
now the the big dog here the dimension old uh patent pending neutron if i remember correctly it's stable okay oh it slipped out a little dang oh it's pretty good stability. i can see the flight though huh octane this is the one when i felt i was like this this feels the best to me yeah pretty domey i think it's i think it's flippy I'm pretty, if I remember, like, I only thrown some of these once, and okay. I was like, ah, not my style. No. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's, it's kind of flippy. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. Oh, yeah, man. that's a bomb. And it was just a simple hyzer flip to flat. It seems turn. like it flipped really fast. Wow, okay, okay. I'm going to try it. This one feels good on the forehand for some reason. It almost has that, that Discmania vibe. Where like the PD2, PD have that weird little, like it's like domey, but on the on the rim it flattens out and kind of dips, which I always liked for thumb placement on forehand. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, and it's beef too. It's, it's like pretty beef. Panic. Oh, I kind of yanked it, but it's look how stable it is. Yeah, very stable. <laughs> it's like yank me, bro. I, I think don't the panic. last disc was a better panic. Okay. Yeah. Similar stability for me, Defy. Now these are ones that I feel like could be my forehand just like go to. I, they're stable. So we'll see. Very consistent. I yes. just missed that one too. I didn't quite push it straight. Yeah, see that one got to flip a little more. Mm -hmm. And like, that neutron one will beat in a little bit for sure mm -hmm. to be a little more glidey but i like them because mvp disc you have to worry about like sometimes they just do weird crap and the defy is like consistent huh, okay like it does the same thing and then we got the excite 14 and a half negative two two could be a, a bomber it we'll goes see. oh ah. please come out please come out it came out but oh. It's, it is it is finicky. That's, what, that's the thing I don't like about MVP distance drivers. Like, mm -hmm. the Defy and the Photon are really the only two that aren't finicky. Yeah. Like, sometimes it flips, sometimes it doesn't. It's, like, weird. All right, we're going to go gather those up. We'll bring you back here. I'll tell you what's going into the bag. We're going to go hit that course and play some disc golf, and that'll yeah. be the next video. We got them a little bit figured out, I think. This is going to be my initial MVP in the bag. Now, things are going to change. Guys, please comment down below. Let me know, like... What is your favorite plastic of a certain mold that I'm bagging or something you think might work in a certain slot better? Let me know because things could definitely change, but this is what we're going with right off the bat. Putters, we're just going with some JC uh, Electron Soft Envies where I'm at right now in the PNW. It's a little cold. It's gonna be like 60-ish degrees you know, most days. So I think right now we're going with a little bit of softer blend, which usually I wouldn't like in like the summer months, but I think these will actually be pretty money. And these are a pre-seasoned in pair. So they're gonna have a nice straight push, but still be consistent. Throwing putters. This one, this one, one was pretty obvious, the soft proxy. I've thrown these in the past and it's just, I think it's one of the best throwing putters ever made. So that was kind of a no brainer. The stabilizer, which is a disc that I've felt a bunch of times and i always thought like man i think i'd really like this it's kind of a backhand zone in my eyes because it's it's got more of that traditional putter feeling but it's beefy you know it's not going to go that far it's consistent so we got that one and then the one that surprised me maybe the most was the nomad this is really in that maybe that fresh pa3 style slot and uh i bet it has a little more glide even it's a little deeper than a lot of MVPs throwing putters. Has that nice beaded feel. So I'm excited to try out the Nomad a little bit more here. Mids, real quick. We're keeping it simple. We're going Pyro. This thing flew fantastic. Excited to get some more work in with that. We're going with the old trusty Matrix. A little beat up Matrix. So this one, real workable, but overall just very consistent and stable. And then we got these two hexes. Uh, I feel like I didn't quite get a great read. This is 170 gram, this is 178 gram. So we'll kind of just work these into that buzz, buzz assess slot and kind of figure them out as we go. But I've thrown hexes a little bit in the past and it's a great disc. So I'm excited to just kind of work with that disc a little bit more. Uh, control drivers, fairway drivers. We're going with the, what is this one called again? Resistor, resistor. That's a super fun disc. This is one that 
who knows if it'll stay in because I do feel like it's that weird overlap between maybe a pyro and a fireball or even the Tesla. But uh, it flew really nice today, a little straighter than I thought. Fireball, yeah, you know, Tesla. Now that flight, hopefully you can see it well, it was absolutely beautiful. It just flips up, goes, but you're always gonna get that nice consistent finish. The Tesla is such a good disc, we all know it. Simon finally made them popular after I feel like they've been a little bit of a low key MVP mold in the past. The Inertia, this one really, I really enjoyed it and it actually beat out the Wave. Even though the Wave is an 11 speed and the Inertia is a nine speed, I feel like they fly very similar. And I love having a nine speed straight control driver because they go so far and you can really just trust them. So we're gonna have the Inertia. We're gonna have this Volt, which is a little bit domier, which is kind of the only domey fairway driver in the bag. I think it's gonna be that like, kind of that backhand eagle. Just hit it hard, it's gonna go, and it's gonna fade out real nice. And then the Crave, this Crave, it's just a hex that goes further, I guess, <laughs> you know? And uh, distance drivers. This is gonna be kind of my go-to, just forehand, pushy, but good stability, the Defy. It feels good, feels like a Wraith, you know, kind of style disc. And it's just gonna push really nice. Uh, really enjoyed the just stock flight of that one. The Delirium. Now this is one that, I don't know, it's interesting. I've never messed around with MVP's super high speed, 14 and a half speed discs. Really good dome. I felt like this could be just my power forehand disc. And uh, we didn't throw a backhand here in the field, but we'll definitely get some backhand working with that one as well. And then for like all out distance, I think the Plasma Octane here might be like the bomber. We're obviously gonna have to figure out the stability a little bit more, but I think overall this thing just, just crushed. And I think it's kind of like a little more controlled version of the Fission Time Lapse, which we're also gonna keep in the bag for some absolute bombs basically. Fission Time Lapse, who knows? We'll see, because I think we're gonna really have to dial it in to get consistent flights, but we're gonna work with it. I think this will be kind of the go-to for now. That's the MVP bag right now, guys. Hope you enjoyed episode one of this, this new series, this new uh, month-long adventure of me switching to MVP and seeing what sticks, I guess. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you can think of like a good name for this series, let me know. I'm excited to do this. As you guys know, I'm an old head. I love the old stuff. I love the old Innova, the old Discraft. And uh, it was time to just have some fun, I guess. Change things up a little bit. Why not, you know? And MVP. Here we go. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Creator of Frisbee Club. The man, Motherfuckers. The man, the myth. And right here, I have a Frisbee bag. It holds all my Frisbees. The ones I like. <laughs>